Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Angular video tutorial, we will see that what is the uh, automation testing in Angular. These are the points. We will see what is the automation testing and uh, how it's actually work, the types of automation testing, some important points that we will see uh, before just starting with the automation testing then uh, how we can do the automation testing in the angular and what kind of modules help us to doing this right these most modules are pre-installed in the angular project we don't need to install anything else then uh, how we can uh, just uh, check out the configuration files and structure of the automation testing in angular right so now what is the automation testing if you ask me in a specific or a very simple word then i will just tell you that we write some more code in our project to test our code basically our code will test our application that this is working fine or not right this is basically automation testing then how it work and why we need it so what actually happened in the manual testing manual testing means uh, when uh, a tester or quality analyst will do the testing manually right so it takes too much time because he just have to uh, check everything manually one by one right and then he just uh, uh, put these cases on the documentation like excel sheet or jira and all right so this is a very time consuming process then the second thing is when we just write the automation testing if this is very fast if we have a small kind of application then it can test complete application within two to three minutes right so now how it's actually work so as i told you we will just write some code and this code will test our application and uh, one more thing that in our uh, automation testing it's not required that we write the test cases for all functions all classes and all properties we can just put the automation testing for some important functions some important files and all right then uh, we will just uh, run uh, some commands on a command line and uh, they will just execute these test cases in our application and they just tell that how many cases are passed and how many cases are failed right so this is very important when we are uh, just want to deploy our project on the server or we want just want to make it uh, on a production then we can quickly check at the last time right so uh, types of automation testing so some guys are uh, believe that there's a three kind of testing and some guys are think that there's a two type two kind of testing so unit testing and end-to-end -end testing are universally accepted but integration testing some people are believe on it and some are don't believe in on, on it right so unit test cases means uh, that test the every smallest uh, property or a function of our uh, project right so let's say we have a function that will just provide the sum of the five or six number or provide some average or provide some highest or smallest number this is a smallest unit or smallest function in our uh, project and we will test it through the test cases so you can see that this is a specific like unit right then integration testing means the unit test and its dependency so let's say we have a function and this function have some dependency on the uh, database or some apis kind of things so then you can see that the uh, this is basically int integration testing and then end-to-end -end testing means testing our complete application and to end right then some important point to be clear that there is a lots of confusion in the software industry that some people says that test cases are helpful some people uh, say that test cases are actually not helpful the reason is because uh, uh, sometime uh, we just uh, write some requirements or we just uh, write some code and then kind just change the requirement then we just have to change the code or our feature as well as the test cases also right so that's why some people are thinking that this is a just waste of time but there is some points if we just remember these points then test cases are really helpful right first thing is that test cases are very helpful when we have a large application because 
uh, if a um, tester or a manual manually we will test this application it will take lots of time sometimes it can take five to ten days even right if you have a very large project right second thing let's say we just want to release our product and we just want to quickly check it out that uh, everything is working fine or not that time manual testing will take the lots of time and the uh, automation testing can do it within a five or ten minutes right uh, then uh, we don't need to start the writing the test cases when our application is just in our initial phase because that time most of the requirements are changed or just update a little bit kind of things right and uh, maybe there is some communication gap between the developers and uh, maybe with the clients that time many requirements are changed that's why we should not write the test cases at the initial phase and initial phase of our application is also small so that you uh, manually we can also test it uh, this is also possible right so that time if we don't write the test cases then we will uh, save our lots of time right and if your project is very dynamic like a client will just say that change it change it and update this kind of things very very frequently then you don't need to write the test cases because every time you just update your functionality update your feature then you need to write the new test cases or update the test cases also right so now in the angular test uh, angular automation testing there is a three thing which is very important and they help us to write the test cases first is protectors uh, they actually run our test cases on the browser jasmine basically you can say that this is an environment and we just write the code inside the files and the files are denoted with a spec file and i will show you where these spec files are right then karma karma basically work with the protector and run the test cases on the browser on the multiple browser you can say that and sometime uh, parallelly on the multiple browser right so now let's uh, see some uh, configuration files and all first of all you can see that the karma is here and uh, as i told you that uh, karma is used for uh, uh, running the test cases on the multiple browser then you can see that we have a chrome launcher and all these kind of plugins so you can add the plugins for uh, like uh, firefox and all whatever you want right then um, we have a port number here and browser like you can just put here browser but on what browser you just want to run it on and all right then uh, basically jasmine as i told you which is a testing environment you can say that and we just write this test case in the spec file so when you just create every module uh, sorry every component then you will find that we have uh, four files with every module like uh, css html ts and spec.ts in the spec.ts we will write the test cases here these are the some test cases which is uh, as i just show you it in, as an example um, these are the already written by the angular when you just uh, install it right then uh, at the last uh, which one is a protector for that uh, basically used for end to end testing and here you can see that this is the protected or configuration file and uh, it will use basically the jasmine spec reporter right then uh, it will just for the uh, node options for how much interval we want to use right there you can see that and some configuration files and uh, it will just uh, tell the folder here that uh, what folder we have to use it and all and the browser name there is a lots of configuration actually you just you can just use here right so that's all about that how we can just uh, start with the angular automation testing in the upcoming video we will go for a live example right so don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care